What's up everybody, once again, my name is Matt, and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. In the last episode, we finished off World 8 the Volcano. In this episode, we're going to the Golden Temple. This is our gateway to World 9. The Golden Temple isn't really a level, though. It's just sort of a thing that's there. It's honestly kind of pointless, but, um, yeah. So, all we gotta do is, um, walk forward, and that's it. And then we're done. Jeez, man. That was a hard level. So glad that we're done with it. I never have to do that again. Yay. <laughs> uh, anyways, but there we go. All the temple orbs open the way into the temple. We got this really cool cutscene. And dang, man, check it out. There's a giant golden banana and some DK statues. Like, Okay, who built the golden statues of DK in the first place? That's what I want to know. You guys probably shouldn't mess with that, though. Like, you're going to break it. Oh, my gosh. They're breaking everything. Apparently, it's actually a real banana, too, and you can eat it. Although, I wouldn't recommend it. And, of course, they would do it anyways. And now they have, like, radiation or something. They've gotten superpowers. The superpowers of loading screens. The best kind of superpowers, if you ask me. Alright, but here we are in World 9 the Cloud. We're going to start things off with 9-1 Crushing Columns. I am pretty excited to get started with World 9. I mean, like, all the levels in World 9 are based off of levels or worlds of the original game. So, like, 9-1 is based off of, you know, World 1 the Jungle. And as such, it's stylized like the jungle. You know, you got all the enemies from the jungle and stuff like that. So, it's pretty cool. It's a nice little recap of, like, uh, the entire game right at the end. Plus, these are entirely new levels, which is kind of nice as well. So we get to experience these for the first time. Um, there are no Kong letters in these levels. There are puzzle pieces, though, and as such, we will be collecting all of those. The first of which is actually right to the left. So if we roll jump, we'll be able to pick that up nice and easy. And then move on with this level. So there are seven total puzzle pieces in this level, which does make it kind of lengthy. But, you know, it's a pretty easy level, I guess. There's nothing too hard about it. The only thing that I find kind of annoying is, um, these tilted moving platforms. To me, they're actually really hard to control. Like, when you jump on them, you have to go all the way to the edge, and that's, like, completely max speed. There's, like, no in-between speeds, so it's, like, either you're going max speed or you're not moving at all, and that can be kind of hard to control. Uh, high bounce of this enemy, and in this alcove, grab yourself the second puzzle piece. But here's what I mean. Like, see, this is max speed pretty much right here. And you can't really, like, slow it down or, or stop it, really. So it's kind of hard to control them. At least I have a hard time with it. Some of you guys are probably better than I am, though. Uh, let's see if we can grab this heart or miss it completely. Maybe on the way out? Nope. Okay, well, we missed it both times. Well, can't say I didn't try, at least. There's probably a heart in one of these, like, uh, flower bulbs or something like that. We'll keep an eye out for it. Nope, that one's just a banana coin. Alright, now right over here, what you're gonna wanna do is, uh, high bounce off this little tiki enemy. So let me try and get into position here. And land on top of this platform because there is a puzzle piece up here. So let me just try and move over there to collect that. And we'll be on our way now. I really dislike the control on these things, man. It's, it's pretty, pretty hard to, like, see. Stuff like that is just gonna happen a lot, because they're hard to control these things, like, to get them go exactly where you want them to. At least we can get some cool combos off and, uh, farm up some banana coins and junk like that. Gosh dang it, Tiki guy, you destroyed my bridge. Thank goodness there was that barrel there. And there's a lovely heart for us. Alright, cool. So let's pound this DK drum and... Now this will launch us to the background. Now when you land on this tilted platform, what you're going to want to do is actually jump up to the left over here because there is a hidden bonus room. Ooh. Ah. All right, so let's just uh, collect everything, I guess. You know the drill. I mean, we've done this probably hundreds of times before. Actually, that's probably not entirely true. I don't even think there are over 100 levels in this game, so... Now ah, whatever. You get the point. We've done it a lot. We've, we've done it a lot. Anyways, now we've got our puzzle piece. Let's just get out of here and uh, see if we can't finish up the rest of this level. 
we're almost done. Ish. Kind of. But, I mean, not really. Alright, I'm gonna try the hard path, man. Let's high bounce off all of these enemies and, uh, get through here. That wasn't so bad. Ooh, okay, we have another chance of getting a heart. Let's see if we can actually do it this time. And, yes, there we go, we got it. You know what, I don't even care about that banana coin. We're just gonna move on. I really... We really don't need the banana coins. I mean, we're in the last stinking world, for crying out loud. We, we really don't need them. Now, this entire segment is like a repeat of a level in World 1. But uh, right over here, on top of this enemy, jump up. And you can actually climb on this grass up here. And find yourself a puzzle piece in another hidden alcove. Isn't that just dandy? I do think it's kind of cool that they have areas like this. Where they like took parts from other levels and added them into newer levels. Like... Yeah, you could say that's kind of lazy, but, like, it's not the entire level. It's just, like, a portion or two. Like, right here, I guess, uh, I guess this was part of another level, too, because that seems very, very familiar to me. I don't actually know, though. But I think that's about it. Like, everything else in this level was, like, brand new. Either that or I have a very, very bad memory, which could also very well be the case. But still, I mean, at least it's, it's somewhat new to me, and I really gotta stop getting hit by these stupid, uh, enemies right here. I think you have to get both of these, or all of the bananas between both of these guys, for a puzzle piece to appear. Yeah, there it goes. I'm not sure if it's both of them or just one of them. It might just be the one, in which case I just wasted some time and lost Diddy for nothing. But still, at least we got the puzzle piece, and now we can move on. Oh, this is tricky, huh? Alright, well, we gotta line up our barrel blast then. And there we go. Perfect. Sweet. Now, oh crap, these things are gonna fall, aren't they? Aha, I am too fast for you. Oh crap, there's another one. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did not expect that at all. Yeah, I did. I did not expect that last time. <laughs> that was pretty crazy, actually. Oh my gosh, there's so many more. We're just gonna keep going. Oh my gosh, get away from me. I do not want to be your friend. Oh, okay, well we made it then. We're good to go. And there is the end barrel. But if we go a little bit further, there's our last puzzle piece. Alright, so we're good to go now. Let's just, uh... Go back to where that end barrel is and see what we get. Looks like it's going to be a one-up. I will take that. It would be nice to finish up this game with uh, 99 lives. That'd be kind of cool, huh? But there we go. All the puzzle pieces. So, let's head back out to the world map. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. But, once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.